Hi, I'm Matt, the straight line lesson four. We have been looking at gradients, vertical gradients, horizontal gradients, parallel gradients. Uh, also the fact that the gradient of the line is equal to the tan of the angle between the positive x axis and the line. And then we looked at collinearity in lesson three. Today in lesson four, we are going to look at perpendicular gradients. So consider this diagram here, point S is at A comma B, A along B up. If we rotate this line through 90 degrees, so imagine spinning it around a quarter turn, this point B here would go to there, this A here would end up up there. So the coordinate after, well, before rotation would be a comma b, after rotation would be negative b comma a, b to the left and a up. So looking at the gradient of each one, again the gradient, when we do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, we are just looking at the change in height over the change in the horizontal distance. So basically up over long is b over a. So the gradient of o to s is b over a, the gradient of o to t is a over negative b, because we're going b to the left here. Right, let's see what happens when we multiply those together. a over a times a over negative b is ab over negative ab. Well, anything over itself is 1, cancels down to 1. And we've got a negative sign on the bottom, so the gradient of any point when you multiply it by its perpendicular gradient is negative 1. So in general, if two lines of the gradients m1 and m2 are perpendicular at right angles to each other, then m1 times m2 equals negative 1. Uh, the occasion where that does not happen, because it says in general, not always, is when you have a horizontal and a vertical line. But if you calculate the gradient to be the horizontal or vertical, you know that perpendicular to that, or if it's horizontal, perpendicular gradient will be vertical. If you have a vertical gradient, the perpendicular gradient is going to be horizontal. Right, so we know if we multiply them together, we get negative 1. So find the gradients of lines which are perpendicular to m1, which equals 3 quarters. So if the gradient is 3 quarters, what is the perpendicular gradient? Well, we've got the answer in already, negative 4 over 3, but why is that? Basically, going back up to here, if we do b over a times a over negative b, we're going to get negative 1. So we're told that they are perpendicular, so we're told that the product's going to be negative 1. We know the gradient's 3 over 4, so comparing that here, the perpendicular gradient is going to be basically flip that and, mul and change a sign. So I've done it down here. So 3 quarters times negative 4 over 3 would be negative 12 over 12, which would be negative 1. So basically take your gradient, Flip it upside down, change a sign. So three quarters, flip to be four thirds, change a sign, negative four thirds. Here M1's five, or for like five over one. Flip that will be a fifth, change a sign, negative a fifth. Question number three, M1's negative a half. Flip that upside down, we'll get negative two over one, or just negative two, change a sign, a gradient of two. So in general, Perpendicular gradients, multiply them together, we get negative 1. Right, let's have a look at an example using that. Prove that BCD is right angled. So, quick sketch BCD. This one looks like the most likely angle to be right angled, so we'll have a look at this one. So, if I can find the gradient of CD and the gradient of BD, multiply them together and get negative 1 and I'm proving that they are right angled, because we know that m1 times m2 equals negative 1 for perpendicular gradients. So mcd using y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 comes to a half. Always cancel down a fraction if you can. mbd, again y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, comes out to be negative 2. Well, let's multiply those together. A half times negative 2 is negative 1. So as the product of the gradients is negative 1, that means that the, that is the triangle is right angled at D. And there's our questions to have a go at. So have a go at exercise 1D. 
two, five, six, seven, and eight. 